what is going on guys, Junior Man and me coming at you with an episode of Minecraft. So on today's episode I will be showing you guys how to build a uh, mob mob fa mob farm. <laughs> Sorry. So today you will need uh, cobblestone, chests, uh, some water buckets, uh, hoppers, and stairs. So pretty much what you're gonna do is start off with a base. So I'd say make a four by four. But uh, don't fill in the middle. So next what you want to do, you want to place down your hoppers in the center. And you want to make a small staircase uh, down to the hoppers. Alright. So what you're going to do, these those hoppers there are going to go into that chest. Um, actually... Put that a bit forwards. They're gonna go into that chest. All right. So those hoppers. Um, I had a mind blank. All right. They go into right. All right. I remember now. So these hoppers are gonna go into there, and these hoppers are gonna go into there. So pretty much what this is doing. When the zombie mobs fall down and die, uh, they will go through these and go into this chest. So I'll just ex demonstrate. If I throw my some brown stained glass inside, uh, hoppers will pick them up. And if you look in here, it goes in there. So yeah, that's pretty much the basics of it. So next, what you want to do, um, you have to build a tower. Uh, possibly, well, just to be safe, I'd probably do maybe. Oh, the recommended, I reckon, is around 22, because that's how many blocks it takes for a creature to die. But just to be on the safe side, I, I usually do around 30, so cause it, it just makes it so much easier. Alright, so here we go. Here, here's our uh, tower, all finished. So, pretty much, uh, we need to do the drop test, so what creatures can die. I know that humans would be, uh, um, Steve would be able to die from this, but, um, yeah, so, I know that all creatures, like cave spiders, would definitely die. And I'm correct, alright. So, I reckon, witch. If witches can die, then anything would pretty much die. And they die. That is amazing. That means that this is a mob farm for everything. Because usually people only do it 20, 22 blocks. And it's really not effective. And just remember, uh, because that this is, uh, oh. Alright, I need to gallop. <laughs> Seeing as this is a mob farm, it does, um, pretty much just require, um, pretty much to make it better you would turn up the difficulty of of course so i'm pl i'm gonna play on hard because yeah now this isn't this is definitely survival friendly like it doesn't wouldn't use too much of your resources so i would definitely suggest making this one survival if you are running low and you do need uh arrows stuff like that all right so next what you want to do you want to extend this about maybe Five or six blocks. All right, we'll just check. Check. One, two, three, four, five. I'll go six to be on the safe side. Um. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um. One, two, three, four, five. Let me mine one. All right. Pretty much, I just need to test one of these, and if it works, then no, that's great. Alright. Um. I've had a total mind blank. I I have no idea how I did it before. I'll be back.
Here we go. Okay. Alright, guys. I figured it out. Um. Oh, crap. This, this needs to be a little bit. Oh, uh, one more. In. Crap. Alright. Need to sort this out. Alright. So yeah, guys, uh, remember it just completely uh, just goes um, on what uh, difficulty you're on. So if you're on um, hardcore, I think it is, uh, that means that you would get a lot of XP, a lot of everything from this farm. Oh, and um, to get XP from this farm, you will need to attack uh, mobs that spawn at the bottom. So just putting that out there, this this mob farm does not produce XP. I'm gonna put a little sign on the video. This farm does not produce XP. <laughs> so you need this to be very dark in here, very very dark. So. Yeah, alright, that goes there, that goes there, that goes... Nope. Hold up. I will do it like this. So pretty much, uh, we get rid of those. That's all going away. Nice. Um, it needs to go to this. So that's that. That that. That's done. 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 Yep. Yep. Um, like this. Like that. Like that. Um. And like that. Cool. So now you have that. So to test this, uh, I'm gonna be. I'll just chuck down a cave spider. As you can see, that goes in and it falls and it dies. Cool. So. That's what we need. Now we need to build the roof. So just sort of build it over. I don't really care how you do it. As long as the whole roof is enclosed. That's all you need. So yeah. So just build it.
Okay, guys, so I finished this now. Um, just to make it look nice, I'm gonna do this. So, pretty much what you need to do now is you need to build a trapdoor. So, uh, to get in and out if something goes terribly wrong. I don't think it would be, but just in case, if you accidentally go in and there's a creeper, you need a way to get out. So, what you need for this is any type of trapdoor. I really don't care. Um, and trapdoor and you need a uh, ladder ladder right. oh, I needed that let's go on there alright so I'm gonna put it over here so that's where the mobs are gonna spawn that and trapdoor cool so now you have this and you want to know, um, when a mob's gonna spawn. Well, here's the thing. Uh, if you go FN F3, so so Command F3 on your computer, I'm uh, using uh, Windows. So yeah, um, and you see the light, how it has light, and it has like 12, 11, 10. You don't want that at all. You want that to be zero or less. Than zero. I mean, less than. You want that less than maybe four or three. Otherwise, it just won't work. Alright. So, as you can see, when you do that, it still goes up to 11, which you don't want. So, how, how can we fix this, you might ask? Simple. You just build a little room around your trapdoor. That's one way to fix it. There's multiple, but. Another way is that you literally just don't build a, a trapdoor in, but I like to build one, and just for security. Not, not for security, for, um, to, for me to know that my thing's not gonna die with, with, because I'm not gonna be there. Alright, door. Dark oak, because I love them. Boom. Now, if we shut the dark oak door and the trap door, that should have reduced our. Yes, it has. Now it's only in three. So, uh, if we go video settings, I have mine on bright. So, and if we set that to normal brightness, as you can see, it's quite dark and mobs will be able to spawn. But another way for them not to be able to spawn is if they don't have. A ledge. They need a ledge to spawn on. Yes, I know, that's weird. So, just build it sort of outwards like this. So now they have a little ledge. Yeah. Uh, do that with every side. And then you should be done. And when you're done, you should have a pretty fully operational looking thingamajig, and it should be working. So, now that, that they have ledges, they can start spawning.
and this is what it looks like from the outside. Now you can build any sort of contraption to get, get yourself up. Me personally, I like elevators, so yeah. Um, we'll just leave that and come back to it, um, and then hopefully we'll find some mobs. Look! It's working! You got yourself a, your first creeper died! Yes! And that is what we need! Oh yes! And they'll just sort of go off when they when they want to, so like, the, the skeleton's just jumped off. Doesn't like life. Look, another creeper's going down! It is amazing! It's working! Uh, just so you know, you do need to leave it. Uh, so that was probably me bad big bad me going down there so yeah the, lo the, the possibilities are literally endless with this like seriously look we already got some arrows some oh look we can okay just with what we ma what we got we could uh so let's let's say we got um a stack of stack of wood so what you could actually probably do is is craft a crafting table Go into the crafting table, so hold up. So I say craft a crafting table. Look, just from those those couple things that fell down, we can do this. Oh. Another one. Like it's uh, <laughs> I was really weird just then, I forgot how to build a bow. Okay, so so now look, now you have a bow and a couple arrows, and that's pretty cool. Oh my god, look, that, 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 that's a pretty good drop. A bow. <laughs> Alright, so now the next thing you need to do, um... This is if you don't want mobs spawning all over the place, is you do need to place some outdoor lighting to, one, brighten up the moon, and two, to stop enemies from spawning. Look, some more bones. Let's go check in there now. This part's just pretty much me show showcasing, so, yeah. Look at that! Three creepers! And if they hit this... They get pushed down! How amazing is that? That's amazing! Look! All three of them! That is awesome! Oh my god, now that one fell down! And he's going into there, look! Oh my god, that's, that's amazing! Very productive! So just from that, like, maybe like one minute down there, we already got all of that. That that is pretty cool. Okay, guys, so this is, this, that's wrapped up the episode. Um, I'll probably be doing a part two on on uh, end nether portals and stuff like that. Um, for mob farms, because you can do um nether portal mob farms. They just spawn zombie pigmen. So I'll be uh showcasing those next time. And have a good day, gentlemen and ladies.